What's up guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're gonna be cutting a textured blunt bob. What do I mean by textured blunt bob? Basically, I want a blunt line on the bottom. I want something really strong to show that precision work and then I wanna chop up the top and create a ton of texture throughout it. So uh, for the sectioning, I created two circle sections, one in the fringe, one in the crown, uh, and then we're just gonna go in and cut. I'm gonna be using the limited edition rose gold precision elite scissor today uh, by free salon education. You can get that at shopfse.com. Uh, it's the best scissor at the best price. Um, we just launched this whole scissor brand guys. So, uh, so check it out on our website, shopfse.com. Now, I go through and I start my guideline with a blunt cut, zero elevation, um, using a wide tooth comb uh, to do my cutting. Basically, the reason I use a wide tooth comb is because I don't want to pull a ton of tension. Anytime you're trying to cut a really nice, solid, blunt line, you don't want to pull a ton of tension in the haircut because um, that'll stretch the hair out. And then when it bounces back, you'll have a jagged line instead of that nice crisp line that you're looking for. So go through, take small sections, make sure you can see your guideline through it. As long as you can see that guideline through, go through and, and cut and then see there. I don't even use the comb to cut this last part of the haircut because that's going to be the least amount of tension. It's going to give me the most uh, precise line that I can get. Now we'll repeat the same thing on the opposite side and then we'll move into the top. So you guys are getting an idea of how easy this haircut really is. Just make sure you take those clean sections. Now I grab the circle from the crown area and I elevate it straight up in the air, right above the center of that circle. So that's gonna give me the shortest point in the center. It's going to give me the most texture, the most volume, and then it's gonna push the weight um, towards the front and towards the back. Um, this is condensed cutting at its finest, just really creating, you can see that texture pop through. Now I'm gonna do a similar thing with this front section. Um, the biggest difference here is I'm gonna over direct it a little more towards the front. Um, that'll give me the shortest point in the front and I'm going to grab my guidelines from the temple area on both sides and cut that through. What this will do is in the dry cut or in the dry blow dry, um, it'll allow the haircut to flow back and forth. They can wear it to either side if they want to. They can wear it straight down the center. So it's a very versatile top for those clients that really want to go back and forth with their, their haircut. So now just a little bit of product in the hair and then I'm going to go through and diffuse it, scrunch it up a little bit, diffuse it with my uh, diffuser. What a diffuser does, a lot of you guys um, have questions about this. A diffuser just changes the airflow so it's not direct on the hair so it creates less frizz and it's a little bit softer for um, creating that wavy texture now just a little bit of finishing spray you can see i just pop it through the top uh super simple style guys this is what it's all about and i just finish out that blunt edge using uh, my scissor again this is the limited edition rose gold uh, precision elite scissor at five inches we have it at five five and a half six six and a half uh, so we got everything you guys need you can see it in all the sizes there here's our end result let me know if you like it by hitting the like button share this video with your friends guys i hope you enjoyed it Oh, and one more thing, if you want to save 20% off your order at shopfsc.com on any of the elite scissors, uh, including the limited edition scissors, use the code GETELITE at checkout and you'll get 20% off your order. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon.